What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And today we're here to talk to you about two brand new ginger ales and one really old ginger ale. And we're going to just kind of calibrate with the, uh, the Canada Dry first. This is of course just the regular old Canada Dry ginger ale. Um, boy, since, since I've had it, I think they've added the, like the real ginger thing. Like, I feel like it used to be maybe a bit more artificial. Now it's like, they're really priding themselves on this as like made from real ginger, 100% nat natural flavors. And um, I don't really drink a ton of ginger ale. So here's the thing. They're adding other flavors to it right now. Uh, one with lemonade and one with orange aid. You coming in? All right. So, obviously everybody's heard of Lemonade. Has anybody heard of Orange Aid? <laughs> Is that like Orange Gatorade? <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, I know what oranges are. It's made with um, real fruit juice. I don't know why would they wouldn't just say real orange juice. This one made with real juice as well. So, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. So these started What's popping an aid? up. I don't know what an aid is. I mean, I guess lemonade would just be lemon flavored drink. <laughs> like, I don't know. I guess it's aiding your thirst, like a Gatorade. Uh, nonetheless, I mean, kind of interesting. It's cool to be able to see, uh, you know, Canada Dry adding uh, adding some like unique flavors to the mix. These started popping up on shelves actually in the spring of 2018. But they were in like Sam's, Costco, BJ's, you know, like the, the wholesale retailers that would sell 36 packs with 12, 12, and 12. And that's way too big of a commitment. You know, we like, we like it to be packaged as small as possible. So unless it's a bush, if it's a bush beer, then as big as possible. 36 pack of bush would be fine. Canada Dry, maybe not. So, um, so I waited and I waited and I waited. And I went to a convenience store this weekend and they had one can of each. That was it in the whole store. So this is our chance to be able to figure out what the heck is Orange Aid and uh, also see if it mixes with ginger ale flavor. Of course, most importantly, you want to figure out which one of these is the best ginger ale. So let's calibrate our taste buds here with some Canada Dry. Of course, Canada Dry has been around forever. I would expect them to brag about that on the can somewhere. 1904. Mm. Jeez, that's a long time. <laughs> and I think we all know what it looks like, but it's a very light tannish color. I don't know, why do people drink ginger ale when they're sick? Like, are you familiar with that, Ryan? I don't know. No. Like. That's just kind of a thing, and I kind of associate ginger ale as like being sick as a child. So this is yours. That was for me. Yeah. Cheers. Let's calibrate. Calibrate with some ginger ale. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not as sweet as I remember it. It's no Schweppes. <laughs> Very uh, smooth, not very bitey. On yeah, the carbonation. Yeah, the, the very. That's a great point. Lightly carbonated, relative to basically any other major soda brand. Mm -hmm. um, really, just more of like a. It's almost like a pleasant ginger backdrop to like mm -hmm. soda, like soda water. <laughs> um, not nearly as sweet as I'm sure that the sugars, yeah, 35 grams of sugar in a can of this. You're not getting your 35 grams of sugar's worth. <laughs> a lot of a lot of very sweet things have less sugar than that. And this, I don't know, it almost tastes like a, like a healthy drink, even though I don't think it is. <laughs> Nonetheless, not not that great. Uh, ginger ale with lemonade, though. Let's eat it. Let's aid it. This needs an aid. Oh, are we filming? Oh, yeah. Okay. Focus we got fit. We, we got. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we got faked out for a second. I thought maybe we weren't filming, but we are. 
Now, let me grab your glass real quick so we can compare and contrast the colors. Because I'm curious to see if these look... Ooh, Whoa. there we go. So a much... It is much lighter in color and more a little a little yellow. Mm -hmm. That's about it. So Ryan, there's your uh, there's your keep. I don't know if you want this as a calibrator. All right, let's see what uh, what ginger ale and lemonade tastes like. Definitely more syrupy flavor. Kind of like a Coca Cola freestyle ginger ale. You know, like how they kind of add in that flavor and like, I don't know, just doesn't really taste right. Very tart. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, t I wouldn't say it's very tart, but it's a little tart. Um, I, I can't really tell. Is it an improvement though? I don't think so. I don't think so, but I'll get into that later. Let's see, but Orange Age is obviously the most interesting one. So let's figure out what's going on with this ginger ale and Orange Age flavor, because you just, I mean, Orange Age. If you know what Orange Age is, just like comment. Is it just orange, like, is it like orange Kool-Aid? Orange. Orange, it's just orange, so just call it Canada Dry and Orange. <laughs> orange Aid. All right, color comparison, here it comes. Wow, I would really surprise, I figured this would be darker. It's, so it's the medium, it's medium darkness. So here is what basically you're looking at. There's a little bit of orange to it, a little bit of brown. Looking more, looking more like a ginger ale. Smells exclusively like ginger ale. There is, I cannot detect any other scent but ginger ale in that drink. Um, I don't know, but let's see if it affects the taste. One percent orange juice, by the way. One percent, and one percent lemon juice. Um, okay. First impression is, this is a much more faint orange flavor than the lemon was in the lemonade. It's in there, but it's very light, very, very light. Um, it adds some extra sweetness, but not a lot of extra flavor. I don't know, Ryan, are you tasting, you tasting much in, in the way of orange on this? Slight. Yeah, pretty slight. But it's good. I would say this is actually not a bad soda. Not too bad. Dropped a single orange Tic Tac. In yeah, it's orange. That's a good point. It's like a it's like a dialed back orange Tic Tac flavor, which is great. Um, I think that's I think that's actually pretty good. So to get into the gimmick grade, the idea of combining ginger ale with lemonade and orange aid. Um, <laughs> Even though I kind of hate it, I also kind of love the phrasing. <laughs> I love that they, like, the cans just look so nice. This looks like a fancy, a fancy treat. <laughs> really nice. It's got a St. Pellegrino kind of. Yeah, it's got that Pellegrino kind of feel to it, maybe. A little bit of that. I'll give it the gimmick a six. Um, you know, it's... Just enough to get a buy out of me. Maybe a five, actually. I give it a five. Not not crazy, but interesting enough to get a to get a small commitment buy. Not a not a large commitment. Uh, I would not gonna. I would, I'm so glad I didn't buy 36 of these. Now, in terms of the taste, a capsule countdown of the taste. Third place has got to go to the lemonade. Uh, I mean, I just I didn't like it. It just I don't know, man. Uh, It's a little bit, it's a little bit syrupy in like a way that just doesn't fit. And it clashes in an unpleasant way. I think that's really, it's like two different drinks that you poured together 
It's so the reason why it's not lemonade Canada dry is it tastes like they poured lemonade and they poured Canada dry. And let's face it, that's that's a tough balance, tough balance to strike. So it's got to come in third place. Second place, it's it's a t- this is a tight call. Oh, I didn't give a I didn't give a score to this. I'm gonna give it a four and a half. Eh, I'll give it a four. I give it a four out of ten. Not not worth a buy unless you're very curious. So I have my scores, and they are a tie. So Ryan, you're my tiebreaker. What's gonna win today? Original. Original. All right, I'm with it. I'm giving. Oh, first tiebreaker. I uh, yeah, I'm giving both a five and a half. I feel like both are right on that line of like. Okay, I'm glad I bought this, but definitely not going to buy it again kind of territory. Like, it's 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 the definition of okay. Like, it's like literally <laughs> both are okay. I like, I, I like your comparison to the orange Tic Tac. I think that that's, it's a very faint orange Tic Tac flavor with Canada Dry, as if you just sucked a couple Tic Tacs and then started drinking Canada Dry ginger ale. And um, Canada Dry Ginger Ale, uh, you know, in first place, once again, a five and a half score. Um, it's it's solid, but really unspectacular. Um, not sweet enough to be good because it's sweet. Um, I would like it to taste a little more artificial, honestly. <laughs> it's very natural in flavor, and um, considering how much sugar it is, you're just not getting the bang for your buck. Save your sugar for something else, for sure. But, I mean, look, it's an okay ginger ale. Five and a half is about about right on the score for it. I just want to give a quick shout out to Schweppes for making the best ginger ale that's ever been created. Here's a 1996 can of raspberry ginger ale. First off, that can looks phenomenal. Second, it's one of the best sodas ever made, for sure. Uh, So... I don't know if Schweppes still makes raspberry ginger ale, but if they do, go out and try that instead of this. Um, and unless you're just a freak about orange aid, I took the bullet for you guys, and you know you didn't really miss out on much, so I wouldn't I wouldn't really worry about it. And until next time, guys, I will miss you. Until I see you, down a little bit more of this ginger ale. All right, now the rest is going down the drain.